James Gunn is officially confirming what everybody's been talking about for months now. Essentially, ever since it got announced that James Gunn would be in charge of the new DCU. And he re says, oh, you know, Henry Cavill's done. We're going to recast a bunch of these actors. Some people might hang around. Some people might not. Nobody knows. Well, he was writing Superman Legacy. Everybody assumed he'd be directing it. Well, now he's officially confirmed he is directing it. He put out this very lengthy Twitter thread. Yes, I'm directing Superman Legacy to be released on July 11, 2025. My brother Matt told me when he saw the release date, he started to cry. I asked him why he said, dude, it's dad's birthday. I hadn't realized. And then he kind of gets into a nice story about how much, how important his dad was to him and how his dad supported him, even though he didn't understand, supported him getting into comics and film and stuff like that. And he does go on to reiterate that I had an opportunity to do Superman years ago and I said no, which that's where all those quotes are coming from. He got asked multiple times if he'd want to do a Superman thing. He said, you know what? I just don't think I could do it justice. I'm not interested in that character. That doesn't seem fun to me. Well, all of a sudden, he's writing the movie for that character and now begrudgingly, I guess, is going to direct it, which I don't know how people feel about that. I'd want somebody who'd be like all game to tackle instead of somebody who had to be convinced to direct it. But now the rumors are confirmed. What we've been hearing for months and months, James Gunn is directing Superman. Two things can be true at the same time. I can think that the DC uh, universe is in a complete disaster right now, and their short-term future is set up to fail massively with Shazam 2 and a lot of the decisions that they've made. The decision to not bring Henry Cavill back. Another terrible decision, in my opinion. These things can be true, but I can also really like what he has to say, specifically talking about truth, justice, and the American way. I've I've liked a lot of almost everything James Gunn has done I've liked but I've always questioned would that work for a Superman and I still question that but all I can do is take it at face value and as everybody knows I hate Zack Snyder Superman I hate that entire that entire take on any of these heroes I couldn't stand it so uh I would much rather have something like this than what we had before it doesn't mean it's the perfect scenario it doesn't mean that i have all the faith in the world but if you're taking it at face value what he said what he tweeted and how he approached it even though to ryan's point him you know kind of not wanting to just tackle this full on he needed to be convinced that's fine i understand that he'd be in concern it's a valid concern but mentioning truth justice in the american way uh you know at least it's kind of getting us back to basics in some capacity based on just this tweet and what he said i like what he has to say and it's much better than what we've got i think that james gunn is saying all the right things i just don't know if we've seen it like if we've seen from james gunn what i think would work as a superman movie if that makes sense so, and he can say all the right things and talk about up, up and away in a truth, justice, in the American way. I love that. I love hearing that from Peter Safran specifically. He said getting back to truth, justice in the American way, which is a good thing. The fact that they even said that is a good thing. Superman legacy is making a lot of people wonder if they're going to bring Jonathan Kent into it at all. I think Superman legacy has a lot more to do with his Kryptonian parents versus his parents from here. Um, and kind of balancing both of those things in his worldview. Even though... I like everything Gunn was having to say. It's just like, man, it's really hard to kind of have true faith in all of this moving forward because the short term, again, as I've said, the short term DC stuff right now is a train wreck. It's a, it's worse than Star Wars right now, I think, because they've pissed all over the current stuff that was even in production. So like with Shazam 2, who's going to go see this movie? Like, how much is that projected to lose right now? Right now, it's projected to start incredibly weak. It doesn't look like it's going to be tracking close to the first one. They did come in, even though the budget was reportedly $125 million for the movie, they've come back and said, no, it's it's not that much. It's closer to maybe $100 million. So maybe the movie might not lose money, but it doesn't look, Right now, it doesn't look like it's going to meet the first one, which made $360 million worldwide. They're just in really bad shape right now. And again, that reflects the overall disaster, like, and then not bringing Henry Cavill back. All of this, the DC has, DC has a long way to go. Ultimately, if James Gunn comes out of nowhere and makes this great Superman movie that blows people's minds, then all will be forgiven in a few years. Okay, fair enough. But... Do we really have that much faith that we're going to get like a true like badass alpha male cast as Superman? Do we really think that? 
like the name that people keep throwing out there is somebody like Timothy Chalamet. You know I, what I mean? I think I think that that's like a troll name that people are throwing it, out it, there. Like but that, that's what people are like. You know what? It'll probably be. It'll probably end up I, being like Timothy Chalamet. I understand that, but like, yeah. it, but based on where we're at with current Hollywood, like it's not that far of a stretch to believe that they would actually do that. First of all, he's one of the big hot actors in Hollywood. Like he's in all these properties, so he's like. Uh, it seems like every studio wants to attach his name to. To for some reason, I don't think the guy has box office pull. Hell, I didn't even know the motherfucker was in my favorite movie, Interstellar, until like two months ago. Because he's just like, he's just, I don't think the, the guy has a lot of screen presence whatsoever. But he's the it guy right now. And so I just, I don't know, man. The casting of this role is going to be massively important. And Gunn has already pissed on who should be the most perfect casting, period, end of discussion. So. I don't know, man. It's such a hard situation to to kind of pinpoint down as to what's going on. But the comments in isolation, I really enjoyed and I appreciated.